Alright guys, welcome to another one. Today, we're going to be playing the first version of Scratch that you can visit on the web easily without going into anything special. There are a few versions older than this, however, these are almost impossible to find normally on the internet. You'd have to go to very special places to find them, and I do not want this computer to be destroyed by hackers. Anyway, there's this very strange thing up here. Control, file, math, motion, mouse and keyboard, scripts, sensing, testing, and variables. And I'm gonna try to make something that works in this game, but it'll be very difficult. I've heard people making Pong in this game, actually. However, that is still gonna be quite difficult. The first thing we're gonna do is to put a forever block underneath script 1, and under it, I'm gonna put an if true block. I'm gonna go to mouse and keyboard and put mouse pressed. And what this means is that whenever I start the script by pressing this little button, when I press the mouse on anything, it will do anything after that. However, something's weird with this game, where it, it waits, it lets you do it just by clicking the thing that causes the game to work. I am also going to place the mouse, uh, the cat, right here, real quick, by using the go to block, which is actually pretty cool. I like it. Alright, we got the cat over here. It's very strange of a model. It also really glitches out when it's moving and you, uh, click it to move it, which really messes up the game half the time. So, what I'm going to do is use the forward blocks, but I need a repeat block to do this. I'm, gonna, I'm going to need a repeat block, and basically put forward, to, forward one. When it's done, it's going to repeat something else. And that is going to be for negative one, if it can find it. Alright, and now I'm going to put the forward block in. Negative one. I'm going to start the script. Just moves back and forth. I should probably change these numbers. Oh, so it moves slowly forward. I have an idea. However, gotta do this. Making some code here, guys. We're doing it. And basically, this will happen 10 times. Then, what's going to happen next is that it's going to turn 90 degrees. I'm going to use our P9 block. If I'm going to be honest, this game is really fun. But it really is low in how good it really is. As a functionality, it's really cool to be able to play this right now, but it's just lax. Alright, and it's gonna move back and forth that many times, and it moves 90 degrees, creating a square over time. More like a rectangle, technically, but I guess it's kind of a square. Oh, wait, yeah, it's making a square. Now, I'm gonna change these values to. Five and negative one. So this is going to be a really big square. And also, I meant to do it 360 degrees. <laughs> oh no, I meant 180. I very much apologize. So it just kind of turns around. 
Alright, now let's start the script and see what it does. It just moves back and forth. Very jaggedly. What if I did this? Oh shoot, that's not what I did. That's what I'm trying to do. It seems we've gotten an error. Already, already another error. And for some reason, I can edit the text of the error. Wow. It's, it's negative four. It's a number. What do you want me to do with it? What's wrong with negative four, man? And now it doesn't work. I've completely broken the program just by running a simple a simple program that would work in Scratch 1.4 even. I will tell you, this will work in Scratch 1.4. Alright guys, see you next time. In the next video, I might do Scratch 1.4 edition. See you next time.